Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to my channel where we're playing Project Ozone 3. And as you can see, I've been really busy. I've built an extension to my house. I would go outside and show you, but as you can see, it's night time. And look, got stuff out there, got compressed creeper there, all that kinds of stuff. So yeah, so we're not going outside. When it gets lighter, then I can show you. Um, also, I got some armour on um, from a loot crate, I believe it was. Yeah, I got some armour. I made a crushing table so I can make a bucket. I made some furnaces and I got up to emerald furnace. And these furnaces are quite good. They can be powered and we haven't got any power yet, but that's what we're working on today. And you can also give them upgrades. So I gave them, I gave it a all processing upgrade so you can all double and also an efficiency upgrade so I can double the burn time. So it's just a little bit faster. So those are quite good. I'm liking those. Also, I've made a friend. This is Floyd. He's kind of cute and he gives me love. You probably saw the, the little hearts as I came past. I put in lots of storage stuff because, you know, I just had stuff all over the place. I couldn't find it. So I've sorted it. Oh, I wonder why they're glitching out like that. That's a bit strange. And yeah, so that's like that. My inventory, as you can see, a little bit empty, but still messy. And also downstairs, I've also been busy. I think these stairs, I don't think you saw these stairs. I made some sieves. I know I had said I was going to make it in the video, but um, I needed the, si the sieves to get stuff. And you get quite a good drop rate with the sieves. So I'm just going with that. These are all iron stiffened mesh. And you get some good drop rates with those. I mean, I don't think there's much difference the only difference between the iron and the diamond mesh at the moment is that the diamond mesh you have a higher um, higher chances with the drop rates. But it's, it's still pretty good because, I mean, I'm getting emeralds from this, which is really fantastic. And also, I made a little mob farm. I mean, it's really tiny and basic, but it doesn't really seem to spawn anything. I'm, I'm thinking I probably need to double the platform, make it a bit wider. But um, yeah, I don't know because I've made more farms like this before and it's been fine. So I'm not quite sure what's wrong with it. But I mean, it, it's not a problem. It's just really saving me from going outside and having to kill mobs. But, um, but yeah, but today we are going to make a magmatic generator because we need the power. Right, we need to, we need power. So, to make a magmatic generator, uh, magmatic. Okay, I need redstone. Oh, a furnace generator. I thought I needed a furnace. I knew this was too good to be true. I did try. I was, you know, I thought, yeah, I'm going to be all, all organized and not quite. Okay, so for the furnace generator, I need a furnace, a machine block, iron and redstone. And a machine block. Okay. We can do this. So I need... Let me see. I put the chess in the miscellaneous box. No, the one above. There you go. And I need some more redstone. I haven't had, haven't gotten that much redstone, but I haven't been sieving all that much, to be honest. And I need iron. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some sieving after this because I'm getting kind of low on the iron. I've also discovered there's no compressed, um, no compressed hammers or compressed sieves. So that makes it a little bit harder, but not a problem. So we need 
a machine block, which is that. Oh, and that gives you four machine blocks, which is good. Then I need a furnace generator, which is that. Oh, and I'm running low on the on the redstone. Hopefully, we'll be able to make oh the gold. Did I did I take that out? I must have taken it out. Okay, and we need gold. And then we have a magmatic generator. Right. So understandably, this needs... Put that there. Oh, okay, that just dropped in. That needs lava. So... I have... We have the crucible down here. Hmm, how are we going to do this? Actually, if I put it on the wall, it should be okay. And there's nothing in the crucible, which is fine. Take that. Do I have any more torches? Yes, I do. Put that there. Is there anything in there? There's a bucket. So hopefully... This is not going to burn the house down. Because, you know, wood and stuff. Okay, so if we put our torch there, our crucible there, and fill it with... I need four bits. Four bits of stone, cobble, not stone, cobblestone, <gasps> two, three, four, and that will start making lava. Then I can pipe it into here. I wonder, does that, no, that needs, I think at the moment what we can do is just put manually put in the four buckets until I create collect more resources to make stuff to um to make pipes and so on and at least power this and that will be our first steps i also made a hopping bonsai which is um let me see to make a bonsai pot you need clay you need five clay bricks or well, five bricks which is clay just fired. So five of those will make will give you a bonsai pot. And then a hopping bonsai pot, you need a hopper under a bonsai pot, and that gives you hopping bonsai. And basically you can put it um you can put an inventory below it and it will drop everything into that inventory. So I haven't had it I haven't it hasn't been going for too long, but I've got planks, I've got um sticks, I've got apples, which is what I really wanted. How many apples? We have 21 apples, which isn't bad. Actually, I need to make a... Did I put all 21 back in? Yes, I did. I need to make a key so we can lock it. I think we might do that now quickly. Um, I'm sure that's one of the quests as well, to be honest. Need some. Oh, I've got gold in my inventory already. Um, draw key. Draw key. Okay. I need a nugget and I need a temp upgrade template. Well, I have upgrade templates. I remember dumping them in a drawer somewhere in a chest, I should say. I do remember just dumping them in a chest because I had to empty out my inventory pretty quickly. It's not in the miscellaneous. No, I think it's down by the mob farm. Check these two. No, that one. No. Yeah, I think I put it in by the mob farm. 
And I also made a ring of magnetization. Uh, no, it's not in here. Oh, I found some subscriber. Pro I went. I went. Um, what do you call it? I went exploring, and I got really lucky. I found two meteors. The first one had three of the presses, and the second one had the last one that I needed. So that was awesome. I got a reward from that because I got the shards from the Certus Court shards from um, Siving and it gave me a reward, it unlocked that so okay really? it's not in there not in there There you go. I knew I dumped them in a chest somewhere. Right, so... Let's get some nuggets, and then let's make this drawer key. So now I can lock this drawer. Oh, there you go. I knew that was a quest. And now even if I take out everything, it's not going to, you know, if I take out the entire stack, it will still remember what's supposed to be in there, which is brilliant. So I've done all of that. It's pretty good today. And I need, oh, wrong thing. Is it two, three, four, five? I can't remember how many I needed. I need to make one of these a drying rack. See, I never remember how much drying. I never remember how much wood I need. Oh, it's slabs. And of course, I only took out five. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Three slabs, right? Drying rack. Right, where are we going to put? Where are we going to put this? I think above there. But the crushing table is a very interesting concept because you know you take your your iron. There is. A uh, iron hammer from Magnetocraft. That's the only hammer you can use as far as I know. And you hit it a couple of times and then you get a plate. It's quite simple. Simple and I like it. And you can also um, crush down I believe you can crush down some of these blocks as well. Let's see if we can find a vanilla block, because I don't know how it works. Okay. Let's... Okay. Gold rocky chunk. Can I then... So I can put that in. That will only give me one ingot though. Okay, it's one for one. Which isn't all that good because if I just put that gold ingot... If I just put that gold ingot in there, I should get two. Let's have a look. Yeah, I get two. So yeah, that's not all that brilliant. But there you go. Well, so, we have gotten to the end of today's episode, and I think we've done pretty well. I mean, I've made the magmatic generator. I don't actually have any. Let's let's just fire it up quickly, because that should have finished by now. No, almost. Oh, I'd forgotten how slow this is. <laughs> so I figured, yeah, after we'd done everything, it would have been done, but it's not. Almost. But we've got the magmatic generator, we've got the um, 
we've got our furnace which is really good I mean it works pretty fast and we might we got this armor which is brilliant is this done no and yeah and what is it oh it's night time let's have a quick sleep I think I spent the whole day talking to you guys daytime and then we can go out quickly oh and that was the other thing I managed to get some really come let me get you Did I get it? I think I did. Oh god, it's a golem. Let's run. Stupid thing, it's gonna kill me. Okay, that was a dramatic end to the episode. <laughs> did I get anything from that? Oh good, I got something. With a dust, a withered bone, a withered rib, and a withered skull fragment. And a drop of evil. That was worth it. That was definitely worth it because then that means I can convert the mob farm to one with evil with a drop of evil and it will spawn stuff so actually that was worth it uh, okay I've my stuff is full all right so well thanks for watching I will work on that overnight and then hopefully in the next episode, I will have my mob farm going. But yeah, that was definitely worth almost getting killed for. And thanks for watching my video. I hope you um, like, subscribe and comment down below as to, you know, you like the channel. And I'll see you next time in another interesting episode of Project Ozone 3. Okay, thanks. Bye bye.